Hello, Corona Cation, and welcome to day 18. Man, it's been a crazy ride, um, but unfortunately, I got horrible news for you. Um, Corona Cation is getting shut down. We've run out of jokes, we've run out of games, um, we, we've asked for some kid content where you send in your kid jokes or tell us something awesome, but unfortunately, We've run out, and so we have to shut it down. Um, but before we go, I think Andrew had something that he wanted to share with you, so I'll put you in my pocket. Is that in my pocket? What are you? Corey. <laughs> April Fool's, guys. Corey was just kidding you. Oh, wait. Let me wait a second here. Let me turn you upside down. Ah, that's right. Our theme for April is upside down. And this, it's all about humility. Um, that, you know, in a, in a world where it's all about me, 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 it's, you know, we do what we want to do. That's what the world tells us. But Jesus actually tells us something else. You know, he, he came as a king. I mean, he's the king of heaven, and he came as a servant. He put himself after us, and he, he humbled himself and became lower than we are. He served us. You know, that's the example of humility. And like right now, you know, this is a great, a great time that we can be putting others first is this social distancing. You know, we can, we can do what has been asked of us and put others first, put their health first, put their well-being first. We can humble ourselves and do what we've been asked to do. Hey, Corey, I'm going to pass it over to you and I'm going to let you explain more about humility here. Just a quick toss. Thank you, Andrew. Hey, all month long, we're going to be learning about humility, and I want to teach you the definition. So why don't you just try to repeat it after me? Humility, putting others first, by giving up what you think you deserve. Good job. Humility is a super important thing. We see this example of Jesus all throughout his life. Even though he had just so much power and he was the king, he didn't allow people to treat him like a king. He was a servant to other people. This month, it's Easter, so we're going to be looking at his greatest example of humility when he laid down his life for us. We have a verse that we want to teach you, and I believe Andrew came up with some awesome motions. I'm going to learn them right along with you. So, Andrew, heads up. Oh, got it. Got it. Corey, I'm here with a brand new memory verse, and Liam back there is helping me out. He's holding it up because I'm learning it still too. But I got it right here for you guys, so you can you can look there um, and co follow along with me. Okay, so here we go, Liam. Can you scoot this way just a tad bit? There you go. So we're gonna start with don't do anything. Don't do anything. Just cross your arms like this. Don't do anything, only to get ahead only to get ahead. So we're going to point our finger up, we're going to move it out, turn it sideways and move it out in front of us. So don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because, we're going to do this again, don't do it because you are proud. And just be like, smirk on your face, you are proud. You are proud. So don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud Instead, be humble. We're just going to bow. Instead, be humble. Value others. So we're going to take our finger. We're going to value others more than yourself. Value others. Raise it up like more than, more than yourself. Philippians 2, 3. Let's try that again. Okay, so don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Smirky smile. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourself. Philippians 2, 3. And guys, we will continue to learn that. Hey, actually, you know what? I would really like it if you guys would send videos in of yourself doing the memory verse and so that we can put you in this video showing everyone else the memory verse. All right, guys, I'll see you later.
All right, Andrew, today's game is called Hare or Bear. The way that it works is there's gonna be a picture of a baby and you need to vote whether you think the baby's hair is like mine and wonderful or if it's like yours, Andrew, and it's bear if the baby is bald. And so there's gonna be these baby pictures, you vote, and this game is gonna be a fun one. I saw it when I was looking for crazy hair for tonight's Wednesday night, four, five, six, crazy hair night on Zoom. Um, but I figured we could play it for coronation. So Andrew, you vote if the baby hair wonderful, or is it bear? And uh, we'll see if everyone playing along can beat you okay. in today's game. Okay. Okay, uh, I think this one, I think it's bear. Bald like me. Bald like me. Come on. Come on. Yes! There's one. There's one. Um, hair or bear? Uh, hair. It's got hair. It's got hair. Come on. Come on. Come on. Take the wig off. Two. There's two. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go hair again. Hair. Oh, nice Santa Claus hat. Let's see. Hair, come on, hair. Yes! Three. Oh, Corey, I'm getting better at these games. This one is definitely bear. Definitely bear. 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 Yes! Four! I am four for four. Okay. Bear. I'm going back to back. Bear. Here we go. Come on. Bear. 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 Yes! All right. That is five for five. Um, we go three. Can we go three in a row? Bear. No, I'm changing the hair. 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 No, I should have kept it. I would have been six for six. Um, hair. Hair. This one has hair. It's got a lot of hair. Um, it's a weird cone head right now. But let's... Wow. That one surprised me. Okay, but I got it right. Um, bear. Little baldy. Little baldy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. That is a lot of hair. That's a lot of hair. Um, oh, that's baby. Bear. Bear. There. Baldy. It's a baldy. Yes. Bear. I think I've missed three. Um, hair or bear? This one's got hair. This one definitely has hair. Definitely has hair. Come on. Oh, yes. Nice. Nice. Okay. I think, I think hair. I think she has hair. Hair. Come on, come on, she's all chillaxed. Wow, that was actually her hair. That is crazy. Um, how cool would it be if this was actually his hair, but it's, I can tell it's not. Um, bear, this baby's bald, chubby and bald. Whoa, it almost was his hair. Oh, that was a fun game. I like that one, Corey. How did you guys do? How did you guys do? You, there's no way you did better than me. All right. Hey, thanks, Andrew. Good job on that game. You did way better than usual. Before we wrap up, though, I want to turn things over to my friend David Laughlin. He's the illusionist that came to Southern Hills a couple of times now, and he has a wonderful reminder for us with it being April Fool's Day. Sometimes we get tricked up on things, but today there's something that you need to remember, that Jesus is no illusion. So let's turn our attention to Mr. David Laughlin. There's a famous trick that maybe you've heard about, but possibly never seen. But today, I'm gonna let you see this. See, it's a trick that involves a hat. Now, the interesting thing is, what I've been told is that if you can find the exact middle of the hat, if you're lucky, you can reach down and find something incredible. What you can find is something really soft, really snuggly, really cuddly. In fact, if you're lucky enough, what you can find is actually a cute little rabbit. Now, of course, that's not a real rabbit, but that's okay because, yes, this was also not a real hat. But even though he's not a real rabbit, he's actually one of the world's smartest rabbits, and I'll tell you why. 
See, most rabbits, if they were being chased, like maybe by a fox that wanted to eat them, they would flee, they would run away. Which reminds me of a really good joke. Do you know what you call a rabbit with fleas? Bugs Bunny. Okay, it's not a very good joke. But anyway, this rabbit would not just flee, he would run away and he would find a hole to hide from the fox. So we'll make a little hole. You see, he would go down into that hole and his idea was to get as far down into the hole so the fox couldn't reach down there and bite him. You see, some rabbits are not very smart. They leave their tails sticking up like that. And then the fox can reach down, bite their tails, and, and then they have to go to a retail store and get a, new, a, a retail. Okay, another bad joke. See, anyway, he would go so far down deep into the hole that it almost seemed like maybe just for a moment that rabbit would disappear. And people would say, well, where did that rabbit go? And I'll tell you where he goes. You see, he was such a smart rabbit, but he was also a very nice rabbit. He would go right back down into the exact middle of the hat so that the next time people wanted to see his famous trick, if they just looked right there in the middle, they could see that rabbit coming out of the hat. And now that you've seen that trick, not once, but twice, you can cheer and clap for this amazing rabbit. Maybe. But you know, here's the thing. You see, that's just a trick. It's just an illusion. And I hope that you know that all the things that you see me do, they're just illusions. But did you know there are other types of illusions in the world as well? See, there are so many times that this world will tell us that our hope could be found in owning the newest video game and maybe just kind of hanging out with the right group of friends, and maybe driving a different car or living in a different house. There's all these different things that we think, if I just had that, my life would be complete. And we're led to believe that those things will give us true purpose and true hope. But I want to tell you something. You see, all these tricks and illusions that I do, they could never give you real hope. They're just illusions. But I do want to tell you the truth, and that is this. If you are looking for a place that you can find real hope, there is only one place to look. And it's not inside any kind of hat, it's not in any kind of illusion, it's in the one true thing, the one real thing. See, there is only one place that we can find true hope, and that one place is Jesus, because Jesus always gives us hope. Today I do want to remind you guys that all of these fun things that you see me do, they're all just tricks and just illusions. You see, I believe in miracles, but I am not the one that does miracles. God does miracles. What I do are just tricks. And in fact, there are a lot of things in this world that can trick us and make us believe something that's not true. But 2 Corinthians 4.18 says, We fix our eyes not on what we see, but on the unseen. Because the things of this world, the things that we see, are temporary. But the unseen, the hope of Jesus that we have, that truly is eternal. So I hope today that you won't get caught up in the illusions of this world, that you will get caught up in the hope and truth that there is in Jesus.